Attorneys for Brian Kochberger, a suspect in the Idaho murders, requested additional DNA evidence from prosecutors during a motions hearing. Defense representatives argued that they did not have all the DNA evidence needed for trial, which could delay the trial. At the hearing, which was held at the Lada County Courthouse, the defense and prosecution argued various motions, including the process of identifying Kochberger as a suspect and his alibi for the night of the murder. Brian Kochberger is on trial for the murders of four University of Idaho students, Kaylee Goncalves, Madison Mogan, Zana Kernodal and Ethan Chapin, at their home in Moscow on November 13, 2022. Kochberger, who was a criminal justice graduate student at Washington State University at the time of his arrest, was indicted by a grand jury in May for the murders. The case has garnered a lot of attention and the trial is highly anticipated. During the motions hearing, Kochberger's attorneys filed a motion to compel prosecutors to provide additional DNA evidence. Specifically, they requested lab results from three DNA samples from an unidentified male reportedly found at the crime scene. The defense argued that it had not obtained all the DNA evidence needed for the case. Prosecutors, however, argued that they had provided everything they had and could not provide evidence that did not exist. Judge John Judge, presiding over the hearing, ordered the prosecution to contact the lab and confirm whether there are additional DNA test results that the defense does not have. He emphasized the importance of trust in the disclosure process and encouraged both sides to work together. The judge has the discretion to grant, deny, or partially grant defense motions, and his decision may affect the trial date. Kochberger's defense attorneys have raised objections to the use of forensic genealogy evidence to establish his identity as a suspect in the murders. They have requested all documents related to the forensic genealogical examination. They are also asking for a stay of the trial, arguing that the grand jury should have reached a conclusion, beyond a reasonable doubt, and not based on probable cause. Prosecutors strongly oppose these motions. Depending on what the judge decides on defense motions, there could be a possible delay in the trial, currently scheduled to begin on October 2. Judge John C. Judge has the discretion to grant, deny or partially grant the defense motions, and his decision will determine whether the trial proceeds as planned or is delayed.